Hey, what is up guys? I'm Anush from AndroidRoots.com. Today I'm going to show you how to enable immersive mode on your Android device that's rooted. Now this will work both on my Nexus 5 and Galaxy S5 and, and also on any other Android device. But in the most practical, practical ways, it's only going to work on your Nexus 5 uh, if you want to get the full potential. Now it'll work on your Galaxy S5 just fine, but as you can see, I have the, I do have the software keys on the Nexus 5, so it's going to be more practical, and you'll see in just a few seconds that it's going to it's going to work a lot better on the Nexus 5 instead of just the uh, Galaxy S5. And let's go and demo it right away so you can actually see. Um, since we both have the status bar and software keys, a lot of the screen real estate is taken up by that, um, you know, the top and bottom part. But let's say I want to go and go to the browser, and I like reading a lot, right? If you like reading a lot and you know, you like seeing text and all that, images and all that, you want the full screen mode. You don't need any, you don't need any navigation bars at the current moment or the status bar since you're just reading, looking at pictures, doing whatever on the web. And if you want to go and show it up, maybe you want to uh, show up the navigation bar and all that, just go and swipe up from the bottom and there you go. If you're back, home and recents. And then if it goes away, you can also go and swipe down from the top and do it again. And there you go. You have your status bar as well. Um, so you can easily access them from the top or the bottom. And now you have all your toggles. So it works really, really well. Very smooth. Very, very fluid. And you can enable this on any application. Um, you can enable this on messaging. As you can see, now you have a nice full screen messaging application. And let's go ahead and tap on home. Calculator works just great and it does this all automatically right when you enter into the application. It works really, really well. Um, so now it shows up if your keyboard is enabled, but I believe if you go ahead and uh, push it away, tap it, uh, maybe it's not going to go away, but you see the status bar to go away. Uh, probably after you get a, get rid of this uh, sign in, it'll go away uh, just fine. But it works really well. Um, as you can see, I enabled it on quite a few applications. Okay, so it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't think I enabled it on that application. Now let's go ahead and check out the same exact mod on the Galaxy S5 and show you that it's not as practical, but still does work. I just want to show you that. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. So let's say um, I want to go on to, let me go and turn my Wi-Fi so we can actually go and use the application. Um, so give it a few seconds. There we go. So in this one, we're going to be using Bacon Reader. That's a Reddit application. We'll go and refresh it. Um, so here's the front page. And as you can see, now it's full screen. Now, <laughs> you really can't see the difference just because only, the only thing that disappeared is the status bar. Since there's no software keys, it's not a big deal, to be honest. Um, as you can see, this uh, status bar now showed up again. If I go into my Gmail, it's going to stay there. But if I go ahead and go into the, the enable the bacon reader application, it goes away. It's not a big deal on, uh, you know, devices like the Galaxy S5, which do have hardware keys. But on a device like the Nexus 5, which have software keys, it's going to be much, much more practical. So now I showed you the demo and show you how well it works on, you know, both your Android device for the Nexus 5, the Galaxy S5, and any other Android device. Let's go ahead and show you how to install it and get this working on your Android device. So you're going to go ahead and download two APK files on your Android device. So let me go ahead and go to my file manager and show you the two files you're going to download. And as always, I'll link them down below in the video description where you can go and download these two APKs. So you have two APKs right here. One is exposed installer, the first one right there. And the second one is force immersive mode. So the first one is just an initial application that you can use with a lot of other modules. So we're going to go install that one first. And we're just going to go ahead and tap on install. And make sure you go into settings and enable uh, the secure uh, unknown sources. So we can go and do that. So if you did run into a problem, uh, follow these directions. It'll say it'll actually ask you. Um, so go into security, and then make sure unknown sources is check marked. Then install it again. Um, as you can see, mine was already enabled, so it's fine. Now go ahead and tap on open. Tap on framework. Okay, and then go ahead and tap on install slash update. And it'll ask you to allow super user request. Of course, we want to allow this choice forever and tap on allow. And now it's going to ask you if you want to reboot your device. Of course, you want to reboot it so to actually apply the actual updates. So once this reboot is finished, we're going to install the immersive mode, which is the actual module, and then we'll be done. Okay, so now let's go ahead and unlock it. We'll go back to the file manager. And now go ahead and install the second APK I showed you. So back to, into the downloads folder and it's force immersive mode.apk. And we'll go and tap on that, tap on install. 
and it's going to go install the APK for force immersive mode, which will allow you to enable certain apps for the full screen mode. We'll go and tap on open and this, oh, okay. And now as you can see, there's a little notification letting you know, letting you know that um, exposed is did not enable it yet. So go and tap on that and then go ahead and enable it. And now it says it'll be become active on reboot. Um, we can reboot it in just a quick sec. So now go ahead and uh, open the actual immersive mode application. Now there's two options. You have the immersive mode, the actual application, then you have immersive mode toggle to enable it and disable it. We're gonna choose the first one since we just want the application. And here is where you can go ahead and enable certain applications to be enabled for immersive mode. So let's say I want, um, let's say I want um, calendar to be enabled for immersive mode and also let's go ahead and choose another one. Let's see contacts to be enabled for immersive mode. I'll go ahead and tap on those and you can also go and select all of them or invert. So it'll select all of them except the two that are selected right now. Go and tap on save and now go ahead and reboot your phone and it will be done. So I'll go and reboot it and I'll show you that it actually did apply it. Okay, so we're rebooted. Let's go and unlock it. And now we'll go ahead, we can go ahead and go to contacts and I'll show you it actually did work. So now I went in full screen mode and I'll also show you calendar. Oh, it's going, okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and find calendar. It should be under Google and then calendar should also be full screen and there we go. And even gives you a little hint to tell you how to use it. Um, it'll tell you on this every application uh, only the first time. So I'll, sh I'll go back to the calendar and it won't tell me again. Um, so as you can see, it'll, it'll just be fine now. Um, so that is how you do it on your rooted Android device. Install Exposed Framework, then installed Immersive Mode APK that works with Exposed Framework. Um, and all you, have to be, all you have to do is have a rooted Android device and you'll be fine. No customer required. All you have to have is root with super user request or super SU request and you'll be good to go. Um, but as you can see, it worked on both my Nexus 5 and Galaxy S5 and it'll actually work with any Android device, which is really nice and a really nice thing about Exposed since it is compatible with a lot if not all Android devices that are rooted. And that's pretty much it guys for this video. That's how you enable immersive mode on any Android device uh, on any Android app as long as you're rooted. If you guys did enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left hand corner right there. Down links for the APKs are linked down below in the video description and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus which will be linked down below. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.